Before start this video, please subscribe my channel and click on bell icon. Thanks. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is projecting a decrease in traffic fatalities for 2023. For the first quarter of the year, the agency estimated 9, 330 people died, marking a 3. 3% decline from the same period in 2022. This represents the fourth consecutive quarterly decline after seven quarters of increasing fatalities since Q3 2020. Despite a 2.6% increase in vehicle miles traveled, the estimated fatality rate for the first quarter of 2023 decreased to 1.24 fatalities per 100 million vehicle miles, down from the projected rate of 1.32 in 2022. This follows a similar decrease in 2022, where the NHTSA estimates the rate dropped from 1.37 fatalities per 100 vehicle miles in 2021. U.S. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg expressed optimism about the downward trend in traffic deaths, which have been steadily declining since the pandemic spike. However, he emphasized the need for continued efforts to solidify and sustain this positive trend. NHTSA Chief Counsel and Carlson acknowledged the progress but highlighted the persistent issue of preventable crashes and emphasized the agency's commitment to reducing traffic fatalities. Efforts include advancing new vehicle standards, investing in infrastructure and roadway safety, and collaborating with state and local partners to promote safe driving decisions. To address the traffic fatalities and serious injuries crisis, the Department of Transportation introduced the National Roadway Safety Strategy NRSS, adopting a safe system approach that focuses on safer roads, people, vehicles, speeds, and post-crash care. This strategy is supported by unprecedented safety funding through President Biden's bipartisan infrastructure law, including the Safe Streets and Roads for All grant program. The DOT has also implemented several initiatives to enhance roadway safety, such as proposed changes for Advanced Pedestrian Automatic Emergency Braking AEB, upgrades to the new Car Assessment Program NCAP, with a proposed Pedestrian Protection Program, and rules on rear impact guards. Additionally, the DOT is collecting more data on crashes involving automated driving systems and advanced driver assistance systems. It also conducts vulnerable road user safety assessments and establishes workgroups to issue reports and advance roadway design models. Recently the U.S. Department of Transportation's Office of Inspector General concluded a two-year investigation that revealed deficiencies in how the NHTSA conducts recalls and safety investigations. The findings of this investigation included failures to consistently document information and complete preliminary investigations within the organization's target timelines. Thanks for watching my video. Credits to Motor1.com please subscribe my channel for more auto updates.